is JH back with a, another commentary. This time it's on Granary and um, once again against TCM. However, I, I chose this demo because it's an official, a standard game. Uh, and um, I didn't want to go for any, any sort of wacky shit because the educational value on those is just not, not that great. Uh, this demo will be less about the play by place and just more about general stuff. Uh, you know, for example, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about how to review your own demos to to make the most of it, and um, I'll be talking about you know things. This one thing that I think is a very very uh, very key when you when you get to high level, which is of course uh, the clock, the time pressure that um, you can put on the enemy team when you're in the lead and the clock's slowly ticking away. And also, I'll uh, speak about granary. Um, even though uh, granary and Badlands are fundamentally similar maps, playing scout on these maps, are, uh, the styles, I think, differ uh, quite a bit. But um, mostly it's just because of the tighter chokes and there's less room on granary and all that stuff. But yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, um, I'm not going to focus too much on play-by-plays, but here we capped middle and uh, got pushed back to a uh, second point. Uh, when you're holding with the demo, you just you don't you don't want to die. And uh, we, we were actually running a spy. I didn't realize that. But here, um, the, the point is about to get capped. There's no reason for me to run on it. Um, but Extremer does some really nice work, and we're able to get the medic down. And uh, and uh, right now, I think it's like it's like five on five on five on one. So we have a great momentum here for pushing. However, once again, I'm out of ammo. Um, I guess running out of ammo is something that has happened far too many times now. So I'll I'll definitely work on it. Um, pushing. Pushing from second point to middle is one of the hardest things to do in this game, I believe. Uh, you're born Uber, you cannot push at all if you don't have a man advantage. But um, the only time you should really push from a defensive point, Uber on Uber, is when the timer is running out and uh, you're losing. I think that's that's kind of a kind of a strict rule, but. I really think that pushing here is very difficult. Uh, in PCWs, we like to we like to try stuff, and we always push it in PCWs. But in officials, we uh, we tend to play it a bit more safe here because we still haven't found a found a great way for pushing second, uh, pushing middle from second from this yard without the uh, the man advantage. Once again, we run a spy, and uh, I come. The demo and medic on right side, and then I fall back. I'm not peeking too much, simply because a rocket can come around the corner and take 50 health off me, and that's just there's no point. Here I'm on the far right side. Uh, the solis are watching the right entrance, so they don't they can just come to me. What whatever's uh, coming to right side, and then I just call, and um, we play from there. When demo jumps top, I get Ubered here. And we take down uh, the uh, the Sully. And um, <clears throat> I think this is six on one now, or six on zero. We just push the middle. Very standard. Um, I think the way Badlands and Granary differ is um, on Granary you really just need to do just solid play. In Badlands you have more room for trickier stuff like. Like um, when the enemy team pushes choke and you're holding middle, you can have your demo jumping behind them and then have a scout sneak to your left side and go for a, for a sort of a flank or just go on the cap with the demo. Um, in in battle uh, in granary, it's a lot harder to do, and most of the time you will simply win if you if you make good decisions, play safe, and just really play with your team. The class synergy in this map is is. Uh, be more important because I think you might even see it later uh, when retaking points, like retaking second point, 
uh, with a demo, um, the scout really just needs to go in front and uh, inflict a lot of damage. And on Badlands, it there's there's not really that kind of synergy. It's more about area control on that. But here, um, it's a bit more difficult. I, actually, I want to pause here. I'm at uh, 854. I can just see the, sc uh, the scout on middle. Um, what happened there was I got behind uh, behind the middle point and uh, I had a chance to go for a back cap but the Sully had just spawned and he came out a second so I just went straight back to middle and this scout got the call this is Xerox on middle he got the call about me that I'm behind and uh, he's got his back turned to me so I can just get past him um, unnoticed and I I think this is a play that uh, allows us for um, allows us to push them back to middle like you'll see you'll see it see it seen it about uh, 20 seconds or something let's resume here so here the, the scout did not see me go past him and here we're holding yard we got uber this is a this is a pretty good um, uh, position for us right now they might be thinking that I'm still behind him but I'm not so they had one less scout on the attack because he was he was probably holding middle to um, um, to make sure that I wouldn't I wouldn't flank them or anything. Yep, yeah, I just I didn't make noise again and I got past the scout and uh, um, I got our team a very small advantage. This game is made up of small advantages that you know eventually turn into bigger ones. Not much to talk about here. Um, we're just uh, regrouping with the team. I mean, it's nice. This demo is um, actually available for download. If you go to etf2l.org and then find the season eight Premier Division like like match list, then this is like the week one uh, fixture. All our uh, all the players uh, POV, POV demos are up because of the new rule that we have to upload them. But you know, I think that rule is kind of pointless. I don't really mind uploading though, but yeah, if you if you really feel a, feel a burning need to really have this demo, then you can download it. Here we have Uber, and we uh, get on the point. We 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 don't really cap it, but it's it's close enough for me to go right side and behind. Uh, I run into the scout. I take him down, but I only have like 80 health there left, so it's it's a no-brainer for Numlock to take me down. However, um. Uh, we have a we have a fairly nice advantage here. Pike died and uh, F2 is up with 50% Uber, and we also have a class change here. We um, lately we've been running a heavy on uh, our uh, last point attack simply because I'll I'll, I'll I'll talk about it later. But it gives gives the scouts a bit more room uh, simply because all the defender eyes are going to be on the heavy. They're going to be like, they're looking for that chance to take down the heavy. There's a timing window, which I'll once again talk about later when we're on defense. And um, our attack here is unsuccessful, but it's 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 a not it's it's not that terrible of a of a, of a position. We've only played like um, like less than ten minutes here, so we're not under any pressure yet. And uh, my my camera is actually stuck, so I just I uh, I know that they're not pushing too fast. Their medic was still on first; he did just spawned, and uh, the scout and the Sully was there also, which actually made us um made us uh, uh, made me call for that retake here, and uh, we take down Haunter. But I I catch a pipe here, and this is like <laughs> fucking it's kind of embarrassing, really. <laughs> I got taken down. We had a spy in the play again, so we only had one scout. It would have been easier with two scouts, but I really don't criticize Shintaz's play ever, <laughs> really, because, you know, he's very creative, and his uh, creativity has often won us the match. So um, don't... If you have a team like teammate like that, just don't suppress him. I'd rather have you encourage him. 
And here um, uh, I talked about the uh, the uh, heavy attack. Uh, here I'm going to explain how to uh, deal with the heavy when you're on defense. Um, well, let's see how this plays out. Then I'll commentate it after it. And, uh, yeah. Did you see that? Let's pause at 24 seconds. <clears throat> what we did was, uh, we went, we went far away. We let the Moober out, but we backed off. We did not take damage. I was concentrating on the scout who, uh, went for extremer on left side. So that scout started to back off. And then, as soon as the heavy got close enough, the point, and their Uber ran out, uh, Cube, who's our main caller, called for a focus on the heavy, and I instantly turned around. I, even though I was battling the scout, I instantly turned around and I went for the heavy. When six guys, when actually when five guys shoot at the heavy, he dies pretty fucking fast. So that's all you need to do. You need to stay away, um, not, not take damage, just avoid the heavy, then zerg him, like we did there. And we didn't even have Uber, as you can see, F2's healing me, we got 71% Uber. This is a uh, really good spot for us. We've killed three or four and um, they're they're running back so let's resume at 24. We're pushing in. Here is another play that I really like. Let's pause at 19 seconds, actually 20 seconds. Uh, as you can see the heavy, uh, sorry the demo and the medic are falling back. Shintas is getting on the point. It's very standard. The, the demo will probably not contest simply because uh, his medic is going to be in danger if he contests. So I'm just gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna go garage, and I'm gonna surprise the medic and the demo. So let's see what happens. Let's resume. I go through, and uh, let's pause at 12 seconds. I just killed the the, uh, the medic who is biting that right now. Um, in hindsight, I could have played that better, but as it turns out, I played it as well as I could have. You see, um. I knew the demo was somewhat weak. He was maybe around 170. He might have been just like full health because of the heals. But um, it's, it, he might have been like 150 health for all, for all I know. Um, <clears throat> so I could have gone for the demo first and then take out take down the medic. But as he saw, that soldier popped out right as I went for the medic. So my play there was really good, uh, even though... Um, well, let, let's just say that my play turned out really well. I made the best decision even though it was a, it was the false decision at that point. Um, maybe I phrased that kind of badly, but uh, yeah. I took down the medic. If I had went for the demo first, uh, I, would, I would have died to the Sully, and uh, that play would not have been that great. Let's resume. And I die here. And actually the second Sully just spawned as well, which I calmed. You always want to calm your death cam shit that you see that can really um, it can sometimes <laughs> turn the tide for you when the enemy is doing something tricky and they expect the camera to have moved away from them already but it hasn't so here we have the momentum we're, we're gonna push middle sometimes you wanna split scouts when you're pushing in the middle but here there was no need Actually, um, well, actually, we did split, but yeah, whatever. It was kind of an easy, easy push for us. We have Uber. They don't have a medic. Most teams in that position will just give the middle because generally it's just better to not die than to uh, try to delay a middle cap, which is inevitable anyway. Here we push left side really fast because we have Uber. They don't. Um, going top is is kind of neat. Uh, usually, there's a soldier or a demo there. You can block him, and make him, make him take a lot of self damage. You can even take him down sometimes. Here, our team pushes right. So at least let's pause here. Yeah, 49 seconds. What happens is, um, uh, our team pushes right side, and there's a defender on right side. It happens to be a scout this time, but sometimes it's a soldier. Usually, scouts will uh, try to run away, but. Um, since uh, we hadn't Ubered yet, I believe, the scout uh, tried to force it. It's a good play by him. It's a real good play by him. But yeah, uh, I went from top and I dropped down. And because I heard the comm, the, 
you know, somebody said on the comms that there's a scar on the right side. So I went through the flank and I and I got him here simply by delaying and coming in from top. So let's resume. I take him down there. We just now pop Uber. But uh, our precision is terrible. We don't we don't get the demo down. We don't really we didn't get on the medic. So we pretty much get wiped out here. We only have two soldiers alive. Snyes does a great job of forcing Uber. And now I go big door because going Z is as a scout. When there's a demo on point, you just die. And uh we had some some people behind him so I tried to divert their attention. Here they have the momentum, so we're just we're falling back. We need to give them the yard. And uh, this play, there's no need for me to duel a scout here. It would actually be on a disadvantage, uh, disadvantageous. Here the two solids come left side, which we cannot really stop because the uh, extremer is holding right side. And uh, my dueling here is actually really terrible. I die. But um, we do hold middle because extremer and uh, our solids were really well positioned. We have our scout going left side, and uh, Demar and Medic as well. I think it's a bit safer, usually. If, if someone's gonna ninja or do some gay shit, it's gonna be on the right side. Like around the tank, you see sometimes Sully's hiding there. And, um, um, yeah, I, I was staying in spawn for a second because Shintas, I think he called for, like, called for a class change. So I was waiting to see if he'd come back to spawn, but he didn't. Here, you just want to hold top, but I'm as you can see, I'm on the ledge. I, I usually jump on the ledge because um, you can you can drop down fast. Here again, I'm on the ledge. You can drop down whenever a solid comes out. But here, um, uh, both teams have Uber. I believe, yeah. Uh, TCM Uber's in. We lose two people, um, but we use Uber. And this play is actually kind of bad. Uh, our, our Uber got forced, which was not the greatest, uh, greatest outcome of that situation. We were in a bad spot and we only had Extremer there. And, um, you know, in hindsight I should have been with the Medic there, but I was, I was, I was holding on left side, simply just looking for that chance to go for the Medic, which never came, so I, I played that bad in hindsight. Here we go for a retake, but alas, we're we're just a few seconds slow here, and I see the scout going right side, so I go for him, and uh, I saw that there was a Sully up on right side, and usually when they drop down in the crate, it's because they're weak, because they're weak, you can take them down, and uh, that's exactly what happened. Me and Shindas took down three people together. Here, when I'm when I'm going left side, I usually just listen for these stickies, which Numlock put on the uh, the point, as you can see there. And then I drop down on top uh, because the demo is, is usually by the door, and you can take him down from there. But he wasn't he wasn't close enough. As for attacking last, some scouts, some teams run their scouts in before the Uber, like a second before the Uber, uh, just to uh, distract. Some teams run in, uh, run the scouts in with the Uber, and some teams will run the, the scouts like you know delayed. Like four or five seconds, which is what we do here. I drop down left side on the scout who's unsuspecting. There's a heavy on last, but um, it's nice, really. Uh, he's pulling out of control. Um, to play here, let's actually pause at 23 seconds. Whether you have health or not, if the enemy demo does not have stickies on the point, go for him. Go take his attention away from the point so that he can't stick it. And you know, if he is sticking it, he doesn't pay any attention to you, you can usually just two shot him to oblivion and you win right after that um, here I I was I was uh, I took Lamlock's attention away for two seconds even though he killed me the, the point is the point is like 80% cap right now on my screen and that's simply because the, the demo stickies had you know he couldn't he couldn't stick the point because of my uh, the pressure I put on him which is which is something you really want to do <laughs> You're gonna get soldiers sometimes when they're just coming out of spawn. Just run into him. You might even see it later on this demo where I where I do it. But usually I just 
you need to sacrifice yourself uh, a scout. It's not just map specific. It's 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 a uh, it's it's a uh, it's an occupational hazard. Right, let's resume. That's a uh, one nil after a fairly long round. That was like um, how many minutes was that? that? Was like fifteen minutes. So we're we're feeling pretty good here. Once again, you see me go left side. Against some teams, the best setup for middle for scouts is to have you know both go top and then split the crates or just go on the crates that need attention. But against TCM, they usually have a solely come in left side and jumping, so that's that's something that I really had to adjust to uh, because simply because coins and hunter are really sick at killing a medic, you know, by by bombing on him, bombing on him, so. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I was really low on ammo, and I couldn't take an unlock down. You should have heard the whine from Extremer here. It was just fucking in incredible. That bitch is always whining. But we take the middle here. With, with a, uh, it's, it's 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 equal now because of you know, a two dying and bike dying. I'm not gonna translate that, but I think it's pretty. Obvious what I set there. Actually, I don't know if uh, the MG editor will have the chat on, but I don't care. <laughs> Here we have uh, it's a fairly standard strategy. X Fane explained it fairly well in his in his uh, granary demo. Uh, it's it's when you go left side really fast. It's actually a play that we when Epsilon came up with, and uh, when when X Fane was subbing for Cube during the summer. Yeah, he learned about it. So yeah, going left side really fast, just just bypassing the, the defense is is really good if you can do it. Here we all just die, and uh, there's not a snowball's chance in hell we can we can stop middle. So we just take a defensive stance here, and there's no risk of them pushing into yard. So I just go back for F two here. However, uh, a solid spawned with him, but you know, do pick up your medic from a spawn. He'll be happy and uh, he'll give you some buffs. Once again, holding right side is is similar to balance. You don't want to die there. You just want to spot it. Here, extremer is kind of out of position. Um, I I called that they were pushing right side, but maybe he got it a bit too late. Here you see him in this position quite uh, quite often, simply because Solis usually walk up top and then drop down through a window. So I just keep an eye keep an eye on the window here. Cube took down three with one rocket, which gave us a, a major advantage here. Their medic is kind of stuck on top. I do a lot of damage to him, but he doesn't die from my hand. Let's actually pause here at 30 set, 38. Uh, what happened was I saw two scouts on the right yard. They were running towards garage, but you know they can they can easily go into Z. So I went on the point to help Shintas, as you can see here. But um, I at this point uh, um, I have no idea what Snice's health is. If he's weak, I need to stay with him. If he's not, then I, I then I can go on go on point. But let's resume here. As you can see, Snice dies because he was weak. Um, you could say that I made made a mistake there by. By running on the point, but you know, it's, bygones are bygones. I think um, if 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 I did make a mistake, it was it was a kind of a small one. But fortunately, uh, it didn't it didn't uh, snowball into a big big mistake here. Coins could have killed F two with the equalizer there, but hopefully, but happily uh, we uh, we survived. Here we have Uber, and uh, we're gonna push middle. Yeah, I believe. Actually, no. I'm just gonna take my position on the right side. You don't need to peek that much. Yeah, the Ubers were really close. They just had Uber there. Uh, so pushing in would have meant running into an Uber, and that would not have been 
a good spot for us. We have every single player on left left yard right now. I believe. Where's that one soldier? The one soldier might be on the right side, but oh yeah, he's on the on the lamp there. Having people on left side, all all of the players on left side is it's not bad. It's actually pretty good on high level play, especially against Dignitas because um, their their newest play is to run uh, have the, have the demo jump from left side and bomb the medic. So you really do need two scouts on left side to take him down midair. Here we kill Numlock and they do a really odd play. They push left side with medic and two scouts. And as you can see, it didn't work out. If they had had a Sully there, maybe they could have done something with it. But that's a play I had never seen before. I was kind of questioning their motives there. But yeah, they they didn't gain anything from that push and uh, we're stalemating here this roof is a really nice spot also the ledge on the right on the on the crate is, is really good you'll see me do it later although I haven't really watched this demo uh, I, did, I think I did watch it after the game really briefly because there is a one sick play that I frapsed. Yeah, here we have an Uber and there's a scout on left and a Sully. Um, we had two two Sullys jumping on me and F2 there, so we were kind of kind of fucked. But so nice is doing a is he's doing a pretty good job of um, holding on his own. He actually, there's a hero play here killing two. I think he kills a three a third here. Uh maybe not. But we regroup and uh Wow, I'm really failing this jump. <laughs> Fucking gay. Uh sometimes it happens but it's, it's I'm not in a hurry to go top. Shintas was up top already. And once again we're we're holding a Oh, look at the art. I think Synthes is also in drop down. No, he just, okay, he came out. Q is kind of fucked, but he survives. We're going in left side. Um, apparently not. <laughs> it just looked like the extreme was going in. I'm sorry, I haven't watched this demo. I can't really remember. Once again, you see all of us on left side. You can have a Sully on the right side on the corner. It really re prevents that, that left side strategy I was talking about on offense. Well, it's 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 a it's a slight prevention, but yeah, it's it's usually good here. And as you can see, this position is really nice because if if the uh, attackers lose Uber on uh, one guy, then you can usually take him down. Which is what happened there with Namla. And there's a scout and a Sully behind us. But the Sully from the front bombs F2. And right now they have... Um, they have two alive. We take one down. But Xerox takes advantage of everyone being weak. And he takes down one. He could have... He, he might have killed Cube there with, if he had been uh, just like half a second faster. Uh, their demo had just spawned, so there's there's no chance of us uh, uh, pushing here. So I just went to take the health and uh, holding right side. Now I, I calm right side, uh, three guys. Let's actually pause here at 32, 31 actually. Uh, earlier I talked about sacrificing yourself as a scout. Here uh, you see a play where, you know, sacrificing myself was was really beneficial for our team there's three people on the right in a corner they're kind of stuck you see those red stickies there um, they're boxed in now so what I need to do is put enough pressure so that they can't get out of that position so let's resume you'll see me you'll see me run at the demo let's resume here I run at the demo he doesn't have any uh, room to maneuver in so I just do 200 damage to him 
then extremer and um, um, our solid come in from behind and we take down all three of them simply because I was able to keep them in position there now they're down five and now they're down six so <laughs> that that small play there by me was really it's, it's 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 something that you don't see often but it's um if if, if more scouts did it then like did it against us then we would be in deep shit really it's really powerful you know just keeping people at bay keeping them in a in a bad position here we have uber they had people spawn before we uh, could push out so uh, the devil got his stickies up slowly attempting to push right side mm. That's that's really weird. We we normally don't let the Sully do anything on right, but here um, we were too con uh, concentrated on left side, so he was able to take down Shintas. But once again, we push and now let's pause here at twenty two. Um, mm, this is actually a a concept from Starcraft. You need to have mental checklists. Every time we push left side on Granary, I will check the respawn corners there. And uh, then I check the corner behind it. And then when I come on the yard, you see above the ammo pack, there's that little lamp. There's usually people on it. And you can see their legs from there, from uh, from, from this position. So really just, if there are gay spots on the map that you uh, have often fallen victim to, then just check them. Have a list of things you need to do whenever you push into a new area. You know, I have I have these kind of small checklists for every map. But I don't, I don't, I don't consciously uh, um, uh, think about the checklist that often. It's just that I've done them so much that they're uh, they come naturally to me. I just check the gay spots all the time now. Let's resume. See, there you just saw me pick at the uh, pick at the lamp. Here, um, when we're taking, you see me push up for uh, up front to uh, to push everyone off. Uh, the the point. Whenever you're capping, I'm, whenever I'm capping, I I like to uh, get to the front of the point, simply because it denies area from them. And um, here's a really nice play coming up. There's four minutes left. They're down one nil. We have Uber. They have Uber. Let's let's uh, let's actually pause here. Thirty. Uh, wait. Let's wait. 31, 30, 30 seconds here. Um, uh, it's 6 on 6, Uber on Uber. This is a position that you don't really want to be in when you're when you're defending and you're down a round. But because of the clock, there's 4 minutes left, they need to push now. They need to push now if they want to tie the game, you know? Because uh, Grainer is a different map than bad, to, to Badlands because... Um, pushing on Granary takes a lot longer than on Badlands. With four minutes, they have enough time to tie the game, and then maybe, just maybe, if they roll us on middle the next round, they might win the game. Uh, on Badlands, you could. <laughs> we've actually won with three minutes left. We've we've come we've we've capped two rounds in in three minutes by pushing all the way from our last and then rolling the next round. But on Granary, you can't do it. So they're really under pressure to push, which they do. And uh, what you can see here is two Sully's, one coming from top, one came from bottom. It means that they they don't really have anything on last. If there was like 15 minutes left, they'd leave one soldier behind, which is, you know, it's it's their standard play. They always do it, but now they're under under the pressure of um, of, of, of time. You know, they have a time restraint, so they need to really um, put all their efforts into this one attack or, or else they'll lose. So let's just um, let's put this once again to uh, fifty-one point two percent speed, and let's resume. Here, this the soldier spots me. I jump down. I get the medic. That's actually insane. He was he was like hundred health. I get pushed uh, from the uh, the scatter shot by by skinny there. I get on the point. I just here. I, what I do when I do is just dodge, which I do. He switches to pistol because he has he has nothing loaded, and he misses, and now uh, we get a round, and he's two 0 Let's go back to full speed. Um, 
I was able to do that push because, like I said, the time was running out on them. They needed to, to uh, put all their effort into that attack, which they did, and they left the last point on guard. It's very risky, but it's the play. It's the it's the correct play in that in that spot, I believe. Yeah, it's. <clears throat> I think most teams and most players under mis underestimate the, the pressure that time can really put on you. Which is what I was able to take advantage of there. Here I'm pushing to kill the bites. Mm, it's a marginal play at best. We lost our medic, so it, it probably wasn't that useful. It's just extremer versus skinny now. They're both just under uh, just under full health. Extremer falls back. There's like two minutes left here. This is this is a GG, and uh, they know it. We know it. But uh, extra just falls falls back. It's a good play by him. And once again, we want to spy because, as I said, when time is running out, they're gonna be less aware of random stuff, and they'll they'll be more prone to making mistakes. Once again, I'm just playing safe, holding uh holding right side from the from far back. By the way, you don't want to be in front of the door because sometimes the door can block you, and you take a rocket. So you want to be so that you can you can close the door when a rocket flies at you. <laughs> not like uh, not like I just did there <laughs> by catching. Here um, um, I can go I can go drop down now. In the beginning of the commentary, I, I said that everyone guards the drop down, but obviously they can't because they need to attack. So I was able to pull out a flank and. Uh, kill two people and assist with one kill. So we can push middle again. Here this play uh, it's kinda neat. You can you can hide on this on on the on the uh, on the sides there. But Xerox somehow found me and I was just completely blown away. I was I didn't expect him to see me there. So I, <laughs> I whiffed all my shots and he raped me. I was kinda embarrassed after that, but it's we won already. I don't really care about what happens after that. Yeah. God, my voice is actually pretty sore now. I went skiing yesterday and uh, it was it was kind of cold. Yeah. I called the scout. Here you can see a extremer not really paying attention that much. And the scout's going to flank him now. There we go. He forces Uber. That's something. Uh, that's that's a mistake that I really want to, you know, I'd want to bring up after the match. Obviously, uh, we had one, so it didn't really affect us that much. But if we were down, or if if the game was tied and a situation like that came up where a scout from from the flank forces Uber, it's it's something you want to fix. It's a leak you want to fix. And it's JJ here. Um, there was a post on the forums. Uh, some some person was asking uh, how to review your own demos. Well, I'm gonna give you the basic, the most basic shit you can uh, think about. Um, whenever there's a there's a decision you, to, you need to make during a game, and it's it's kind of a it's kind of a troublesome decision. You know, you're you're really uh, debating whether you should do A or B or C. Well, just when you're when you're playing, just go by your instincts. Go by the comms that you have. Go by the information you have available to you at the at the at that moment. And then uh, after the match, just review your demo and think about the other options you had. Um, you have A, B, C, you know, and you did A. Is that is that play really? Um, what's is the expected value positive? You know, on average, does that play work? If it does work, and it's a good play, uh, considering everything, you know, the score, the, the clock, and you know, you, you had Uber, they didn't have Uber, whatever, all that, all that, all that jazz. Take it into account. If it's a good play, you're probably a high-level player, or, uh, or or on your way to becoming one. If you did B, and B is, is the sort of a play that you see in frag movies. It's 
it's not really that smart, but if it works, it will give you a huge, huge advantage. So yeah, um, those those plays are really risky, and you should not go for them uh, most of the time. Ninety percent of the time, you don't want to go for them. Ten percent of the time, you you can try and hero it up, because if you do succeed, then uh, it'll just be a great boon boon to your team. Uh, as for option C, you know C might be a play that uh, most of the time works, but will give you such an insignificant advantage that it's not even worth the risk. Even though it's like it's like seventy percent works, thirty percent of the time doesn't work, then you know you don't really need to do that. But just, you know <laughs> that's uh, that's a very um, I just winged that ex uh, 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 that that example there, but it's like think about your options that you had during the game and then think about the possible outcomes you know the benefits and the risks and then just just weigh them all and uh, see what see if you see uh, any any sort of patterns emerging like safe plays good here aggressive plays good here that's that's like the only way of of really reviewing your own demos never ever think about aim like oh my god if I had hit that shot then we could have won this game Think about it like that. It's it's gonna it's gonna eat you up inside because everyone misses. Everyone misses a lot, unless you're Xerox, you know. <laughs> but you know, Xerox or Walters. Don't think about the aim. Think about the des decisions because decisions really give you the win. Uh, your your aim will give you a nice frag movie, but that doesn't really warm you warm you too much if your if your team loses all the time. So yeah, um, that's about it. That was a bit, bit rambling in the end, but uh, yeah, <laughs> just, just try to uh, take something from this, from this commentary, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.